I think Kanye's been given a lottery ticket. Basically, let's let's ask Diddy about getting fired. Let's ask Oprah about getting what fired. What it did for them. And what it did for them. That's why we're telling people, yo, what is the end game? Right. What does that look like to you? I felt like Nori, the big homie, could have done better with, in particular, the interview with Kanye. He can not only become so much more wealthy than he is now and help his community. It's going to be ridiculous. If we could actually take this concept and make it normalized amongst our people, instead of everybody being for self, and they start to understand that collectively we are better. Our community, even though how weak it is, that we are so quick to cancel somebody that looks like us, but give so many chances to people that don't. And if the Yeezys come out and he sells directly to the consumer base, yes. you better buy it. We have no culture. Mm. What a week, what a week, what a week. Insane week, insane week. <laughs> insane week. First of all, I enjoyed the little break at the uh, at, at at your beach house, man. We appreciate that. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, was, that was legit. It was good for us to yeah. come together and create new goals for our own end game Absolutely. with the end game. Yes. Right. Um, but what a week. And it's like every day, and obviously we're talking about um, Adidas, Kanye, Balenciaga, Drink Champs, the whole... Yeah. The whole saga continues. Yeah. Um, we're not going to talk about the gops, gossip side of it. At least I don't want to. Uh, like I said, yeah. I don't care. I think it's more, about let's let's do what we do best. And let's talk about what the end game is or what your perspective on things is so far. How, yeah. how about we do this? What's up? Let's take three, four minutes mm -hmm. each. Three minutes each. Okay. And give your perspective on the entire situation. And then let's dive in. Dive into it like we in a boardroom. Hey, listen, we appreciate you guys watching the Endgame podcast or listening to the Endgame podcast. If you are listening on YouTube, please subscribe and give us a comment. And if you're listening anywhere in the world on podcast land, you know what to do. Leave a comment and give us a five-star rating. This is the Endgame podcast. Appreciate y'all. Right, okay, cool. one of the first things that um, I want to say, and I want to create a dialogue from this instead of me talking for three or four or five minutes <laughs> straight on this. Right. I want to say um, this whole situation proves my very initial comments that on our first early podcast that we have no culture. Mm. People and hate that. that. Yeah, they hate it. But this has played out to just kind of really support, you know, my comments. And That's I a, re, 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 just a snippet of time, remind us of why you believe that we have no culture. Because we don't own anything. Mm. Okay. Yeah, we, we don't own anything. Gotcha. So, um, you know, the media platforms that have canceled uh, Kanye, we don't we don't own them. Mm. If if he can say those things on a place where we could actually stand up and feel like, yo, you said that in my house, you safe in my house. Mm. And when you got a culture, uh, you're not obviously actual, you're not obviously talking about the 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 wrong like the bigoted conversation. You're just saying the overall conversation of. I'm just saying if I, I me and you saying. having a conversation, right? Yeah. And somewhere where I believe is a safe place. Yeah. And it's sacred. This is my community. This is what we do. And I, I like I'm from the hood, and if other dudes that look like us was from another town and came in to our spot or another block and came into our spot and tried to violate what we was doing there, it went down. Now, was a problem. Yeah. right. So now you got all these other people canceling my man for doing something for what we do normally when the camera ain't on, that's how we talk. That's mm. how we get down. Right. So where's my culture at now when it's time to say, you know what? Yo, we bought Yeezys because of Yeezys. We buy Jordans because of Didi. Because of Jordans. <laughs> Not because so now if he feel like taking them joints across the pond and <laughs> make his own joints, yeah. everybody need to, right now, he need to come out with a sneaker that it could be trash, right? 
Everybody in the NBA that's 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 down with the cause right. need to put them on. Put them on. Word. Word. Yeah. Straight like what, that. And just yeah. ride out one but time. But there's not even there's no power in the guys in the NBA to do that. Nah, nah. Yeah, it's the, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, a, it's, yeah, it's yeah. the young hype nah, beast culture, nah, man. Nah, nah, listen. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you sure. something, how powerful it'll be. I get what you're saying. So, I get what you're nah, saying. I'm gonna tell you how powerful to be. The they already know how powerful we are. They just hope we never find out. That is a fact. All right, now when all of us That's in the NBA bar. wear a Black Lives Matter shirt, then they got to normalize it around the NBA where everybody wears it, right? Everybody in the WNBA wore one. They normalized it because once five or six people, the, the strong ones did it, then, all right, they say, you know what? Yes, this is serious. We got to do it. Yo, let five of the people with some power, 10 of the people with some power actually act like we're going to take a stand for my homie, for your yeah. man, for the culture. Yeah. But they're going to find a way, everybody's going to find a way to divide their opinions for not having to stick together. True. Absolutely. Yeah. And I talked about that divide yeah. and conquer before. Yeah. Facts. So one of the things for me, man, I'm, I'm just, um, and I talked about this off camera, I am amazed at how quickly um, that community. The Jewish community. Mobilized. Not, not that you can say the Jewish yeah, community. The You're Jewish not saying it on negative I, light. I, I'm, I'm amazed at how, and then, I, then I, I thought about it. And the thing, because, you know, pain is pain, right? And they had an atrocity that happened with the Holocaust, right? And then black people will say, we had an atrocity with, with, with slavery, right? And so there's a lot of pain in both scenarios. But I got to thinking about it. And let me know what you guys think about this theory. So when it was the Holocaust during that time, it was, you know, Jews versus Germans. It was them versus we versus them. It was obvious divide, right? It was like not, I think it was Nazis. Or Nazis. Nazis. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was, but it was we Nazi versus Germany, them. Yeah. Right. It was we versus them. Mm -hmm. Right. It was obvious. Then I got to thinking about it with the, um, you know, the terrible fate that black people saw during slavery. It was we versus them, but it was also we versus each other. It was us versus each other. The slave trade probably wouldn't have happened without black people, their, their involvement, black people's involvement. Then when we got here, it was this divide that you just spoke about. You had what the house Negro and you had the field Negro. Mm -hmm. So there is us, us versus them. Yeah, and that then was, you had that was the, a plan scenario. Absolutely. Yeah. But then you had the whole um, overseers. You had black overseers who had power over mm -hmm. the slaves that looked like them, right? Oh, yeah. And so I think one of the things that has to happen is we have to figure out a way, and we still have we we have that today. We have battle rap has freaking uh, Willie Nelson ever battled Johnny Cash. You know, even in music and entertainment, we, we, we battled each other. There's, there's some unity, but there's still a culture of, of us versus each other. And I think there needs to be a chipping away at that to create the unity that we've seen over the past few days that the Jewish community that they have. So I, I'm with you. I think it's impressive that they have been able to mobilize and talk about what they felt like was a threat to their community. Absolutely. And everybody be on the same accord. And it happened like they were. It's no a question. Song. It's yeah. no question within the even. I mean, you look at all the stuff that we've looked at within the black community. Um, there's a difference of opinions yeah. about what should happen next. Very, very. And so it's like, how, how is that possible? And you have this, this Jewish community, and I'm talking about international. It's not yeah. local. It's not in just in Chicago or just on the East Coast. It's the, international. The They're reading off the million, same page. 15 million. I think the Jewish community is about 15, 15 million, million strong. Yeah, strong they're strong reading off the exact same page. And, I, I don't, and until we get somewhere close to that, it's just gonna be hard. Not impossible. It's just gonna be hard. So let me let me let me let me piggyback off of some of your sayings that you mm -hmm. like to say, right? You like to say that the reason why you have been successful in business and life is because you look at something and you mirror it. Mm -hmm. Right? And I think it's a time where we not compare not compare. Right. You never compared no. yourself to that guy no. that was the fastest runner. You Correct. mirrored his Right. His things, so you can become what he was, which out. was what the fastest, the fastest Absolutely. kid in school. Absolutely. So I believe that we have to start looking at examples of success, adding our own little spice to it, 
but becoming the version of, of success that we think of as a community. Yeah. Now, I know one thing, we're, we're, we're all three writing this book. And one of the things that we talk about this book is one of the, the, the commandments or laws or principles that we need to establish within ourselves mm -hmm. is relationships. Absolutely. Yeah. Right? Yep. And that starts with the relationship with yourself. So, you yep, need to love first. yourself. You need to cherish yourself. You yep. need to appreciate yourself. Right? And if you do that, then it allows you to create a family. Mm -hmm. And if you love that family, appreciate that family, and cherish that family, yep. then it allows you to go out and create a community. Right. right. And if you love and cherish that community, then you have the same love for yourself mm -hmm. as you have for the community. Yeah. But it all starts with self. Right. And so you can't have a community that doesn't hold each other responsible for our actions, right? right? Yeah. And so because I have a platform where I sit on, I, I, I wanted to talk about why I felt like Nori, the big homie, mm -hmm. could have done better with the, with the, with in particular the interview with Kanye. But not only that, I feel like the show in itself, the show Drink Champs, has maybe moved away from its original conception of giving people and OGs and, and rappers their flowers. I yeah. think it's become more of a gossip type thing, but that's just my opinion on that. But right. one thing that is fact is I don't believe that they should celebrate or highlight smoking and drinking as the main part of the show. Now, people are going to say, because I wrote, made a post. Can I, can I like, add a slight caveat sure, to that? Sure, absolutely. I don't believe they should um, highlight getting drunk and getting high. Yeah, ex so excessively. I, 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 yeah, yeah, yes, exactly. excessively. Yeah, now, yeah. you can that's, drink, that's, that's, you can smoke. So right. so look, that's their thing, right? That, that's their thing. But the, the only thing is that I believe now he or they will become more conscious that they have a social responsibility or but, a cultural responsibility no, to, to. And that's what but, I'm that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So if you love yourself, love your family, and love your community, then you always worry about how you go outside. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Well, and so when yeah. you turn on the camera, you outside. Absolutely. In my household, my mother didn't allow none of my siblings leave the house with wrinkled clothes or not right. a brush head. Right, right. You, you got to brush your head, comb your hair, and your clothes got to be ironed. Right. Yeah, right? Absolutely. Because she cared about us. And that was a standard. So yeah. what I'm saying is because she loved us, we created standards. Yeah. And I wouldn't let my brother out the house, nor would he let me out the house. And we still do it to today. You wouldn't violate that standard. I yeah. wouldn't violate that standard. So what I'm saying is that in, in when we have community, yeah. we won't. But majority of people in the world, a lot of people in the world drink and smoke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't, but mm -hmm. I don't also don't chastise anybody that does. Right. I'm just saying smoking and drinking is a guilty pleasure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. It's not something that people highlight. Yeah. And I understand the show is like a barbershop stoop conversation, but barbershop and stoop conversations are not put out for the world. Right. Barbershop right. and stoop conversations don't become the number one view black podcast. Right. And when you re when you understand that we're in a world economy yeah. and that we go on drink champs with a wrinkled shirt, a.k.a. getting inebriated, where there's drinking and smoking excessively, that's your wrinkled shirt version in my house. Yeah. Right. Then the world is watching you and that's how they portray you don't, as that. Basically, as that don't give the enemy or whoever's coming after you ammunition. And don't, don't do it. hand them am ammo. And don't do it because I love you. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, the, I'm absolutely. not gonna. So, I'm not so gonna do only it. Only thing that I'm saying is that, all right, with today's, um, you know, with the way people make money today, they make money off of reality TV, or they make money by letting people into, you know, what we would usually say was private. All right. So, Drink Champs is a show that's kind of like used to be private conversations, and now this is what we talk about, or you know, when mm -hmm. we when we drink and get drunk and all that stuff. But what you're saying, I believe now, is the fact that since you're the number one show, you've got to understand that you have a little bit, you have to have a little bit more of cultural and social responsibility yeah. with what is actually said on there because it's no longer just on the stoop anymore because it's it's not a small podcast. It's not, you know, you didn't just start last week. You've got everybody. But even, I, I think stuff. even, and I go back to the relationship theory, self, yeah. family, and community. I think if we have a community that has rules and laws and, yeah. and principles that we follow, yeah. I don't care if it's your first day on the podcast, we don't have a drink champs. Yeah. Not, not the, not drink champs, the show, because the show yeah. is actually good. Yeah. Nori is well-respected in the rap era, right? In the rap people. Yeah. So he can have these conversations with rap OGs that I enjoy listening to. Absolutely. 
I just don't believe that the whole entire world needs to be on the stoop with us yeah. while we're drinking and smoking. And, 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 and for me, it's about <laughs> intention, right? Again, Nori told us why he was happy Kanye was there because the last time he was there, the numbers their numbers went through the roof. Nori also said, we get people drunk so they'll talk. So that's intentional. So he I have said, a problem with that. In, inebriated, okay. But I have a problem with with that whole, Intention. with his intentions, period. So, but, yes, but. I, I, well, so my problem is with the fact that if we understand the intentions and we know the intentions and mm -hmm. we know what is going to happen here, right? Why as a culture are we going to go ahead and let the man get canceled for not being fully aware of his faculties. I, I, I think, so, I like think this what, let, look real quick. I just yeah. need you to hear me out. Yeah. I've been at several courtrooms. Mm. You can't even enter a plea of guilty or not guilty. If you're not fully aware of your faculties, they won't even sentence you that day. They won't accept your plea. You can mm. say, I did it. They say, you know what? Are you fully aware of your faculties? You say, no, guess what? Uh, we'll give you another court bake. You got to come back another court day. Mm. Come back when you're sober and we'll accept that plea. Yeah. So the court won't even accept when you're not fully aware of your faculties. Now, this man's being canceled all across mm. the world, right? Yeah. But I think this is a great thing. It is I a good thing. I was about to say, I, I think Kanye has been given a lottery ticket. I think he's been given a lottery ticket. Now, I need you to explain that to the people. So basically, it, 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 Let's let's ask Diddy about getting fired. Let's ask Oprah about getting what fired. What it did for them. And what it did for them. I think he has a lottery ticket where he can not only become so much more uh, wealthy than he is now, or whatever that perceived wealth is, and help his community. Absolutely. It's going to be ridiculous. And if the Yeezys come out, or, or when the Yeezys come out, and he sells directly to mm -hmm. uh the the individuals mm -hmm. you know the consumer base yes. you better buy it yeah. right if you care anything about not, not not only Kanye but about this movement that's about to happen it's getting ready to be stupid and so here's here's why I 100% agree with what you're saying because both of those people were able to take advantage you know he's he's lost his billionaire status that they never acknowledged in the first place who cares about that he's still right. worth three, four, five hundred million dollars, right? Right. So, but the idea is his influence that he carries amongst the entire world. And so most of the people who created the hype around the shoe, the hype beast culture, the young kids, mm -hmm. like who go, because when I go to the store, I say, yo, what's cool? Right. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm not up on that. Right. So I I believe that he has a new chance with a with a new a new brain. A whole new perspective. A whole, a whole new, new perspective mindset, yeah. that he can take. He it has an international mindset. product yeah. that's going to hit every single so single consumer. What would you do? That what we, would you do in Kanye's position? How what? How would you navigate? How would you if you if you could sit next to Kanye? Yeah. Sorry, let me yay. If you could sit next to yay and have a conversation with him right now, not wanting anything in return, how would you kind of say, "Yo, big homie, this is how I think you should navigate." Well, the first thing I would do, I would say, "Yo, how you want this to end?" Mm. The end game. All right. Now, we're going to reverse engineer everything from there. Absolutely. Because everybody is casting vision from where they sit instead of where they want to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you hear me? Yeah. So you're supposed to cast vision from vision is the sight of the, the heart. Man. You know what I'm saying? Not of the eyes. So it's a function of the heart and not a function of the eyes. So anyway, I, I need you to, to think about this is what I would ask. I say, listen, man. I need you to think about what full ownership of your your global product would look like if if you were running the entire thing. So hold on a second, because I think on one of the podcasts that he did after the Drink Champs with Lex, he stated, what did he want? What did mm -hmm. you want this to look like at the end? And he said, I want to be forgotten. Mm -hmm. I want to be synonymous. I want, I, he says, do we know who invented the stop sign? or the stoplight, or tissue. He says, I just want to be the, the person that it's, it's used, everybody's in it. Like, you don't even remember that this was the guy that created it. Yeah. So I think he's going for this legacy yeah. play. Which is, which is dope, which means that a lot more other people will try to own their whole entire thing. And I think, let, let, let's, let's speak on that, because yeah. I personally think that if he's, if he's able to be successful with 
his new his him getting fired from the position that he's in. And we're going to speak this from the business perspective, right? Because you yep. talked about yep. Oprah and you talked about Diddy. Mm -hmm. If he's able to do the right thing and be successful with his new launch of whatever it is, mm -hmm. and it becomes wildly successful and he becomes way more successful than he was in the past, yeah. I think that what will happen is, like what y'all said, is there will be a new, there will be a new normal, right? Right. Absolutely. Where cats will be like, yo, um, we are now going to start going manufacturing our own joints. Absolutely. Absolutely. It, it, it had to happen because it was funny when Big Baller Brand did it. It was a joke. It was, yeah. a, joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. Yeah, they, but it's not going to be a joke when when Kanye double back like Jordan wearing the four or five. And what does Kanye they, have they that the dude that, that, that did the stop sign doesn't have? Or what does Kanye have that LeVar Ball didn't have or doesn't have momentum and what you use the word influence he has influence oh he's a crazy amount of influence. oh yeah, my god like, the influence mixed with the know-how mixed with the genius the new knowledge mixed with the um you know i'm 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 i'm, I'm gonna take over this industry it's a wrap it's a wrap yes yeah. it's, it's not even because be if close. we all know that a shoe costs twelve dollars to make right 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 and yep. he wants to sell it i think he said 20 he wants to sell his for twenty. So. Well, well, he he talked about items in the store. Yeah, yeah. he mm. wanted to start selling like twenty dollars shirts, yeah, shirts yeah. and things oh, like that. Nice. Yeah, because yeah. that's that's normal. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. So, what do you think the impact is going to be, business wise? Adidas for is done. I'll say it now. <laughs> yeah. Adidas is done, and a lot uh, a lot of other competition, they're in trouble. So, Nike, I believe, is in trouble. I, I, honestly, though, I, I know, yeah. I know. Hold your point real quick. Yeah. Honestly, though, it's it's got to start. Like what we say, it starts with who. It starts with us. It starts with us. Yeah. It starts with us. Yeah. So I'm done with them. Yeah. Like you know, what I'm, you understand what I'm saying? Because yeah, I don't even if they can, What I'm saying is, is no. If you can treat, if Adidas can treat him like that, then who else they gonna treat like that? Right. Who else they gonna cut off at the drop of a dime because yeah. they wouldn't give him, you know, the 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 shadow of a doubt. They wouldn't just give him, you know, you understand what I'm right. saying? Like you, sometimes so you just gotta. So rumor give is that. Adidas owns the designs of Yeezys. Yeah, I mean, okay. so what? If we don't yeah. power, if yo, it has no power if we don't empower it. Facts. The power come from us. What did Jay Z say? We contagious. Drop Everything me, we do. Drop me anywhere and I'll triple my words. That's he what said, put me anywhere on God's green earth and I'll right. triple my words. Now, word. dudes gotta actually believe that though. Huh? You don't yeah, know. you don't know, right? I sure I do. Yeah, you know exactly. Like, but that's. Some of us be coming from the ground up, so yeah. it don't matter. Like you know what I'm saying? Like now, now that's why I believe he not. I believe yeah, he about this, to come back and kill. This is Kanye's pandemic, and during the pandemic, millions of dollars were created. Several millionaires were created, and this is Kanye's pandemic. And I, I just can't wait. I can't wait to the other side. I also want to talk about our community even how weak it is mm -hmm. that we are so quick to cancel somebody that looks like us but give so many chances to people that don't mm -hmm. and i think this stems back all the way to when we were in africa because the reason why we were able to be conned or whatever it was mm -hmm. is because we were welcoming of mm -hmm. everyone without doing having these checks and so i believe that we need to kind of rally around our people. For example, I'll give you an example. Like, and it, it goes back to this principle that we write in this book, mm -hmm. relationship, mm -hmm. yeah. right? So if I love myself and I do something wrong, do I forgive me? Should. Yeah. yeah people if I love my family, first. my sister, my mom, and they do something wrong, do I forgive them? Yeah. If they do it again, do I forgive them? Probably. Probably. Do I do it? If they do it again, do I forgive them? Probably. Yeah. So if the, somebody in our community does something wrong and acknowledges it and is sorry for it, do I get do I do I give them another chance? Yeah. But we, we also have to be responsible for us, man. We got to make sure that we're responsible for us. And it, I, I'm reminded of the scene in Malcolm X when the little white girl ran up to, to Malcolm X and, and, and was talking about all the unrest. And she said, what can I do? And he looked at her and said, nothing. Because and he was basically <laughs> saying. We got this. 
We, yeah, we, we, because typically outside help yeah. comes with a, a price tag it, or it comes with a favor. Yeah. Another thing is if, if, if your, if your brother does something wrong and you beat him up, but then a neighbor tries to beat him up. It's a problem. You, it's a problem. Yeah. Only I could beat my brother up. Yeah. That goes back to intention. I'm a, I'm beating him up to teach him a lesson or I'm beating him up to keep him in, you know, you're beating him up for a whole different reason. And, and, the, <laughs> and the intention is totally different. So it's a problem. It's a problem. I think that I think we're going to create a new normal. Yeah, absolutely. I hope, I hope it does. I hope, I hope we get behind it only to, to make sure we can see what, it looks like it feels like. back, back to that question because it was a great question you asked Lynch. What would you tell him to do? So now we got him. We got him thinking about the end game. What would you tell him to do? I would say, I, I would say, yeah. Listen, um, everything you learned, every all the failures you had, all the things, all the people, all the wrongdoings you think you had, take those lessons and put them into the new venture, right? And like how you said before, when they talked about. Um, what's my man from Off White? Virgil. Virgil. Yeah. Don't let them break up the team. Don't let them break up the team. Right. And so trust the people that you have around you that you know does will do good for you, and and bring them along because if the new Yay becomes an empire, he can bring along so, so many, many brands people. that will no longer be a small brand. Maybe everybody's wearing one of those HBCU. Absolutely. hoodies or something and it's no longer just having problem getting distributed or online right. maybe we create our own version of louis vuitton that we consider luxury yeah. where there's because those brands feed generations yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. you feel yeah. me that family lvmh is generational yeah. type of money yeah. which yeah. stays in their community as it should oh, yeah. So if we create the new cool instead of running behind and creating cool for somebody else, yeah. there could be a huge impact very fast. I'm talking about in five years. So we got to yeah. come together, man. We can't have this. What separation. is that? What is that? What does come together look like? Coming together looks like taking risk. It looks like if if I'm now <laughs> entrepreneur and I'm out front and I'm taking risk, I need you to come with me and take some risk with me. I need you to understand what the vision is, what the end game is. Um, buy into that end game and let's go. And everyone doesn't have to be the chief, right? We we need we need a coach, we need a GM, and we need players. So everyone doesn't have to be the chief. So I think it's gonna it, it will take some some serious unity for it to happen. But it 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 definitely can happen. I'm telling Kanye, I'm reminding him of his greatness, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of times people want to, you know, like when you first um, a, a guy first meets his his, uh, this girl he wants to date and, and she has on, you know, tight jeans and a low cut shirt, but he's like, oh my God, who is, you know, she's incredible. They get together, they go out for a few times and then, you know, two months into the date, uh, them dating, she puts on the same outfit and he's like, where are you going with that on? She's like, this is what I had on when you met me, <laughs> right? What do you mean where am I going with this on, right? So Kanye, everything that Kanye is that, that gave us, you know, college dropout, that gave us the Yeezys, that gave us, you know, the fashion, everything that's in him, I would remind him that still be you, period. Because we need that formula in order for that greatness uh, to abound again. So just, I would remind him not to not to change because everybody's like, you shouldn't have said this, you shouldn't have did this, you shouldn't have, you know, so they're almost trying to engineer or, 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 or try to change him. Um, but yeah, man, be you, uh, your greatness is, is, is there, uh, you're, you're a genius and, and you're incredible. So and keep being you and understand that you are going to mess up from time to time. Absolutely. Who take hasn't? A, take accountability for Who it hasn't? and move on. Who hasn't? And, and focus on responding instead of reacting. That's another thing. Like this whole situation kind of pissed me off. And when I said, uh, on the last podcast, I don't care. I didn't care about the gossip. I didn't care about the situational stuff. I care about Kanye and I hope, I hope Kanye remains on this earth because he's been making some statements about, you know, if I'm not here, y'all know why, things like that. And I care that, that he's here, but a lot of people reacted to this situation. They didn't respond. They didn't show emotional intelligence, pause and come up with a response that made sense that could serve themselves that could possibly serve Kanye and, and serve our community. So, and that, and that there it is right there. Yeah. 
Remember we talked this this weekend. We was at the beach, and I was like, "Yo, I was like, community. I was like, mm. calm comes from a word which means together. Yeah, and uh, munity comes from a word munis, which means perform a service. And when you put it together, it says together we perform a service. So together as one, we perform a service. That's so dope. what a community does is we come together and all perform one service. Yeah. And when you said, like, nobody said, you know what, here's what we're going to do as a community. We're yeah. going to have his back. Or well, here's what we're going to do as a community. Y'all ain't going to cancel him because of our show. Right. Y'all ain't going to cancel him on our watch. Like, nobody, can't, nobody came together as a community and said, yo, in business, this going to be bad for us. Right. Because if they can do it to somebody that owns 15% of the company, what are they going to do to the man that owns 5% of the company? What are they going to do to the man that don't own no percent of the company? We'll just Come royalties. on. But right, right. Because Michael Jordan only owned 5% of the brand. Yeah. He had 5%. Yeah. So what are they going to do to Mike if they did this to 15%? Yeah, and, 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 what do he do? He got to go home and drink. I'm not, I don't know. I have, I have you got to go home and drink. I ain't read the contract, but he owns 5% of the revenue. So if they decided to sell Jordan Brand, I, I'm not sure if he even gets, gets broken off. Yeah, because when know. the revenue stops, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's got to yeah. be better than that. Yo, Liz, what is what is us coming together look like? Like, if you had to create, because you've been a leader for a long time in your life, right? What is what is what do you think us coming together? Like, if you was the guy at the top and said, "This is what we're gonna do," what would you do? So, what's dope about our book is we understand that uh, that we have to have some type of uh, governing laws. <laughs> We have to have some code of conduct. Mm -hmm. And once you understand that, you know, principles govern laws and laws govern the universe, then you'll use those laws to govern you first and foremost. Now, if you can get all the people to follow the law, then you'll have some type of order. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Then that way we could actually come together as one and do our thing. So the first thing we need to do is have an understanding of the African proverb, Ubuntu. I am because we are, because we are, therefore I am. That means collectively we all exist. That means collectively we all have more power. So I exist because you exist. And because you're dope, I'm an extension of your dopeness. And when I start to act in my dopeness, then you get a chance to say, yo, my man is dope at this. And since you need that, yo, I know where you can get dopeness from. And you have a certain amount of people who've built like trust and value in you, in your name, in your image, right? And since we're a community and we're an extension of each other and we collectively rock together, then they have no problem rocking with me. Right. Does that make sense? If we could actually take this concept and make it normalized amongst our people, yeah. instead of everybody being for self, and they start to understand that collectively we are, we, we are better, right? I believe that we could do so much more. Some people would actually bring you their problem. They would actually say, you know what? I'm vulnerable enough to tell you what I'm going through right now because I believe that it's safe enough for you to actually take this information and maybe help get me some help from the rest of the community. What is that African proverb again? Umbutu. Umbutu. Yes. Umbutu. And why is that important that you draw all the way from the roots? So that a lot of people can't argue with the principle of collective existence. Nothing in this universe exists by itself. Does that make sense? Umbutu. Absolutely. Umbutu. Now, once you can like, take away everybody's, um, what would you call it? Uh, uh, Individuality or something? No, no, their, their, um, you know, their, their notion of what we're saying is not coming from a principle. See, when it's just an opinion, mm. Mm. Right. then you can, like gravity. Yeah, it's fact. It's fact, it's but it's a law, bro. Yeah. It's called the law of gravity. No matter how much you don't agree with it or not, right, right. step off the, the yeah, eighth yeah, floor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, get me, up right. in that plane and act like you don't believe in gravity. Absolutely. Right or wrong? Absolutely, right. right. So there's a law there. And dumb people, right? Ignorant people can disobey gravity if they want. Yeah. But as soon as- The consequences, hellacious. Boom. Yeah. 
Soon as you got to go against that consequence, you're going to understand how real gravity is. Yeah. So this is a law. And I just took it to something, something that simple, right? And all, our whole entire book is going to be placed, it's going to be, it's going to be backed by laws and principles where you can't argue with that. All you got to do is follow the laws and you will prosper, right? Mm -hmm. it, it says, seek ye first, right? The kingdom of God or these righteous laws, then all these things can be added unto, unto you. So all we're going to do is tell you what the highest is. That's why we're telling people, yo, what is the end game? Right. What does that look like to you? Once you have a clear vision and picture, right? Where well, there's no vision, the people will. Now, people is not winning in this thing because they have no vision of what the end looks like. That makes sense. G yeah. Give me, give me some like practical, real life, All lives, right. bro. Give me some like, yo, this is what we need to do to come together. All right. You want to? You want to start? No. Go ahead. It's you. You're on a roll, baby. You on a no, roll? No, no, no. So, like, if you just if you if you was like, yo, if you had an army of 200 people. And you'll be like, yo, we got to come together and this is how we should do it. Yeah. So the first thing, uh, we, we got to make sure that we're coming together for a righteous cause. Yep. Right. That, that's got to be first and foremost, because I ain't got no time to try to sell my 200 people on what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Right. Like. You got to understand that it's noble as soon as it comes out of my mouth. So they got to believe in the cause. They, they got to, first of all, they got to believe in me as the leader. Right. Right. But I've established that look through through no like trust, right? right? Mm -hmm. uh, what is it? What is after that? Buy, refer, and uh, whatever you know the principles of marketing and some right. stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Right. It's the same exact thing. But once I establish that you know like and trust because you value my, you value the words, you value my opinion, you value my skills, you value my service, you value everything that I bring to the table, then you don't question like what we about to do. When I say it's time for war, it's time for war. Like we going to a fundraiser in a couple of minutes, yeah. right? So you mm -hmm. say, so you're saying, um, righteous cause. The, the righteous cause. Righteous no, cause. Yeah, yeah, there has to be yeah. nobility in what we about to go into battle yeah. for or go, you know, go do, you know what I'm saying? Like that's the, I think that's the first thing that we gotta, we gotta know that um, the thing that we're acting upon or the thing that we're about to put our um, effort into, is is going to move us forward or going to serve us or serve the people in some type of way. And if that's righteous, then nobody should have a problem getting behind it. So if something happens to the girl in the hood, it, it's no reason why we should be looking for her for three months. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, community. Yo, this is in the community. This is noble enough. This is righteous enough for us to get out here, get down and dirty, down to fight the round 30. Right. You know what I mean? And ain't nothing going to sleep until we find a little girl. Like, that's what it's all about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Then, but then you're going to have the leader that right. people buy into. Right. Who has the vision. That, that's one of the problems. The that's story. one of the problems we got right now. Gotcha. I, I just got a problem with all, like a lot of the leadership in our culture, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? And when we got real true leaders, we don't actually have no problem saying, you know what? You know, the big homie said that. Let's roll. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If, if can, we got them kind of communities. Can we, can we look at community like a, like a business, like a absolutely uh, CEO. Uh, gov uh, yeah, but just just like in the sense of like, yo, if we there, because there's so many, there's so many things that apply on both sides, as far as like business and community. I here, here, I'm just gonna say this. It's the same thing. Even yeah, in, even in business, you got bylaws that's that's identical. that you can't yeah. you, you can't go past the bylaws. Like they structured from the rip. Soon yeah. you put your company together. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the same. It's the same exact thing. Because yeah. one of us gonna get out of line with our feelings with some money or something like that. But it's in the bylaws. Yeah. I think I think the first thing we gotta do is we got we have to protect each other. Mm -hmm. We have to understand we gotta protect each other. So we gotta value each other. Right. right. I give the example like if you if I invite you over to my house. And, and and for dinner, and all the dishes is on the sink and in the kitchen, and they dirty. And you finish eating, mm -hmm. and you put your joint in the sink or on the counter, yeah. and I get mad at you. Mm -hmm. That don't make no sense, does it? Right. Yeah. So if we love and respect each other, and we stop hating on each other, killing each other, mm -hmm. then we won't get up. We can't. We can only really get upset when somebody else mm -hmm. does it. That's does not. Thing, yeah. Right. Period. Right. And so if I if I invite you to my crib and you put your dishes in the sink, I can't be mad at you for putting your dishes in the sink 
if all my dishes are already in the sink. Right, right. So let's take care of what we got inside before we look for Absolutely. somebody on the outside to respect what we have. Right. If we don't respect each other, somebody from the outside not going to respect them. Absolutely. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And so let's come together as a community so we can respect each other and actually have value with, with, of each other. Because mm -hmm. Mbutu says, I, I, I value you. Right, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you are me. I am you. Right. I have right. to value Absolutely. you. And so right. we got to. So I got to value me first because you can only ever love others to the degree in which the, you love the yourself. The relationship I talk you know about, the I mean? relationship yeah. with yourself, family, right. and community, it's got to start with yourself. So we got to learn to love ourselves, yep. which means we got to know ourselves. Right. We got to know what we're we got to heal too, which means we got to heal. So that's what having a healthy relationship is all about. You got to, first of all, you got to heal thyself. But you mm -hmm. know, Lynch, right. this is like, here's the thing. I'm, I'm gonna give you an example that we can break it down to. I just left the doctor. Mm -hmm. The doctor told me if I don't do this, yeah, absolutely. I am going to die. Right, right. And you're my trainer. Mm -hmm. And I come to you with this thing that the doctor tells me I gotta lose 50 pounds yeah. and shaping up or I'm going to die, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You can't walk me through all of these steps yeah, yeah, yeah. as if I came here without that emergency behind us, right. right? So right now, our culture, our community has this emergency behind us. Mm -hmm. So you may not get the proper time to heal. Mm -hmm. You may not get the proper time to do X, Y, or Z. Just know we have to do it and we have to do it fast. Yes. And if you believe in the process, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. then we will get to that end where you can heal better, you can do, but we have to come together. Yeah, 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 and because yeah. we're so powerful, and we got to be disciplined to come in together um, about these laws. We have yeah. to be disciplined to these laws, not motivated, not yeah. coming together when you yeah. feel like it, not coming together when you think it's going to benefit you or your family or your clique. We just have to be disciplined to the laws that's going to bring us together and that's going to take us to that noble cause. Yeah. Yeah. Period. And, I, and we got to get better because what, what we need, we need competent people in the right seat on the bus. Yeah. Let me let me tell you let me tell you a, a theory that I hold that the reason why we don't have powerful leaders that people can look up to as success is because when you get to a certain level of success, most of the time you disappear. Mm -hmm. Kanye talked about y'all got enough money to go to Hawaii and chill. Yeah. <laughs> right. We got enough money yeah. where we ain't got to be sitting up here talking about this community stuff. Right. Right. Because right? we can go do whatever we do. Wherever we want to go, I can go to Jamaica, have a bunch of kids mm -hmm. and not be not be here. Yeah, right. right. You know what I mean? And so the idea is we people like it takes a strong individual to come back and try to empower yeah, people absolutely. when you already have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so it can get frustrating. I'm be just being dead honest, bro. Yeah. It can be dead yeah. frustrating to try to convey this message so that we all can be where we are. Currently, not and I'm not talking about rich. Yeah. I'm just talking about at peace. Yeah, yeah. Right. And and I, I know my strength. You know your strength when you walk in the boardroom. Yeah. You yeah. know your strength. Right. Yeah. Right. And so I want us to all have that feeling of knowing where we stand in this world economy and how powerful we are. Right. And so sometimes it's frustrating when you get somebody bucking at you that don't understand. Yeah. And yeah, you yeah. take the time yeah. to try to explain it to you, and they just don't. Yeah. Want to listen? It's I not like they, they, they don't even want to hear. Well, it. So what happens is, all right. The reason why we don't listen is because our consciousness is is contracted or constricted, you know, at that time. And the only way for us to actually listen is to expand that consciousness. And the only way you could do that is to raise your level of frequency that you you know that energy that you really be on. And right. if you drinking, if you you know, but why uh, couldn't it be? You know what? My consciousness level is not where it needs to be right now. So I'm gonna fall back. I'm not gonna do anything to interrupt or impact what I'm the movement. Let me just fall back and stay right here. Let me go raise my consciousness, right? right, So that I can put well, my hand up, on the plow well, to make, make this thing go. Us. It's up to us to help people raise their consciousness. But the reason why they actually um, interrupt or they jump in and they give their two cents or they, they you know, wanna, you know, just, put their make their stance valid um is because they solely believe um in the you know the 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 cultural aspect of what they got going on when if they could literally just stop for a second to understand that it's not culture like culture is nothing like, negative you can, stop you can have nothing negative associated with a culture and respond and have emotional intelligence to there yeah is that it yeah okay it's tough 
It's tough. But I mean, you know, we, we you know the other leaders. thing about leaders, leaders get shot at. Yeah. <laughs> so so leaders, I, I think that's leaders why, don't mind getting shot at. And but also that's why I think it doesn't have to be a singular leader. Right. I think there can be yeah. multiple yeah. like if you take down the leader of a cartel, yeah. they had multiple already. Yeah, yeah. Eight, or eight point three million dollar drug ring. There, yeah. there was an organization. It's an organization that was yeah. tightly knit and run, and mm -hmm. everybody understood the cause, and and it it worked. It worked. Yeah. yeah. So, I just I just hope people listen. I, I, that's all, all, <coughs> from this podcast. What happens not, if they don't listen though? Do do we do we keep pushing, or do we say, okay, you know what, you 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 have a seat right here. I'm a, I'm not leaving you, but right here we you you can't get you can't get in the you can't play right now on the field. I don't know, man. We we'll come, we we'll come from a different angle, you know what I mean. We we'll, we'll come I'm back. I'm gonna keep around, trying. You know what I mean, but we we'll come back around. Man, Harry Tubman ain't stopped. Like she went there, she came back, she won another yeah. round. Yo, I'm about to roll out. You rolling? <laughs> yeah. Yo, come on, y'all got a yeah. spot for twenty cats. Y'all rolling or not? Yo, a bunch of them were like, I'm good. Oh, you you not a slave? You don't have yeah, to go. I'm good. Come on. Yeah, I'm not she didn't know she was a slave. Yeah. And she stayed there. Come back around four or five times. She get the letter back from her people. Say, yo, we free. She, oh, you, dang, you know what? I should have went. I'm going to go. So we'll be back. Like, we'll be back on another episode with another topic that when the consciousness is not contracted or constricted, that we can actually, you know what I mean? If you're not with it, catch just just be quiet. Yeah, just chill. And let, chill. let the people that are with it, so you can watch and observe and be like, okay, if you're skeptical about it, yeah. watch and observe. Yeah. Or, you know what they can do? They could actually watch the whole podcast <laughs> on any of the platforms, right? The entire podcast. And then they could the entire podcast on any of the platforms. And you could probably understand the context in which some of the stuff we're saying is yeah. relevant to. Yeah. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Yeah. And I don't know where you can you find it at. Um, uh, <laughs> Everywhere, man. YouTube, all them joints. Yeah. YouTube, so listen, Spotify, I, I, I know we them. I know we got to get out of here. Um I don't even want to do an outro. I just want to end the Don't do it. Just end it. I just like we can come back on the same clothes. Hey yeah. man, we 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 went and we learned, and there's a lot of stuff to learn with this whole uh, Kanye situation. And um, if if when whenever you're you're scrolling and you're listening to our podcast and wherever else you're listening to stuff, please please look for the lesson. That's I think that's the first thing. Out of any situation. everybody can do that. It doesn't hurt you to do that. You know, just pay attention, right? That doesn't cost you anything. <laughs> yeah. Just look through the noise. Just pay attention. Yeah. Look through the noise. So, so I still um, don't care. We out, man. I don't even want to say nothing. Else. We out. Right, we That's out. Peace. That's it. We're done.